Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian, and we are back with more of The Flash. Last episode, uh, we well, Iris found, uh, what's her face, Eva, um, and I'm assuming she's the new Mirror Master. Actually, I think someone pointed out that she isn't doing, uh, the new Mirror Master in the comics, I think. I don't remember exactly, but um, she's kind of getting, she just found out anyway that she has these abilities. She had um, no, like the mirror, she had nothing, I guess, that to really work work with, I guess. Um, she couldn't move the mirror when there was just like one piece and then attached to the wall, and she didn't know. I guess it was making a ripple, whatever. Uh, but we also—it was also like a kind of for the most part a, a Ralph-centered episode, which is great. I uh, haven't had a Ralph-centered episode in a minute. Well, I guess technically speaking, the Ralph-centered episode was also the James Bond one before the Crisis stuff. Um, but yeah, we met Sue, who kind of double-crossed him. She might be trying to look into these, I mean, she, she seems to be looking into these black hole people, um, I don't know, she's, I don't think she's still, she, it doesn't seem she's stole a dime, the diamond, um, for selfish reasons, but she's doing whatever she uh, has to, to get, you know, get, um, more info on them, so, um, hopefully that'll, we'll see more into what's, what's going on with her exactly this episode, or just soon, anyway. Um, poor Ralph took it pretty hard. Uh, Barry also wound up giving the fake Iris the mirror gun. Don't know exactly what she has planned for that. Whether she's actually trying to use it to get closer to uh, exposing um, the, the other guy, the, the other McCulloch. I forgot his name. Um, but the bad guy. Um, but he also, they also kind of showed a bit where he was looking at the mirror, kind of sort of sensing Iris was there. On the other side, hopefully they'll be able. To, hopefully she'll be able to get out. She's basically been in there for like two episodes now, I believe. She went in like the not last episode, the episode before. So hopefully she'll be able to, wait, right? No, she went in the episode before last one, before the Valentine's Day episode. Um, yeah, hopefully she'll be able to get out soon. Are you sure you don't want some help? Because, I mean, I am I am ready, willing, and caffeinated, sir. Put me in, coach. Thanks, Chester, but I'm good. Yeah, he doesn't want to... He's not trusting the newbies yet. Piper? What? No, he's batting again? God dang it. What happened? <sighs> That's kind of sad. I haven't seen you in forever, though. Christ. This must be because of the freaking New Earth crap. Ha! Ah. Since when are you a diamond thief? It's Pied Piper, Flash. And you're really gonna ask me that after what you and your friends did to me? Uh, what did we do? Not good. Wow, Flash. <laughs> My brother, that is epically cold. Apparently there's something else you don't remember. The gauntlets are just my backup singers. Wait, what? Oh! Um, excuse? It's like Banshee now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well. Since when was there a train here? Oh, Jesus. Well, heck. They're, they're, man, they're really good. So, okay, I'm assuming this episode's gonna be dealing with all the complications. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's not true, is it? Whoa! Sherlock! There are others. That Such hair looks bad. <laughs> That contraption is not going to work. Ooh! Yo, Leg, are you good? Uh oh. Hey. Are you okay? Who the hell is she? Alright. Try this again, Gideon. Okay. Um, what? Oh, trapped in your mind, I guess. I don't know. Quite the little chatterbox today, aren't we? What? Why are you talking to me like that? 
Why am I in a cage? Speed Caitlin. force? Let me out of here. Easy, killer. Oh, wait. Thought. Maybe he just needs some privacy. I'm gonna go check on Ronnie. He's working on a new space he's very excited about. He's calling it the pipeline. Mm. The pipeline. I like the sound of that. Caitlin. I'll come with you. Rog? Caitlin. Caitlin, do not trust him! Uh, uh, look, this Carver case has become... Joe's gonna see something different. Investigation. I have to report directly to Chief Singh. We have to do everything by the book. This is CCPD business, and it has to stay that way. Otherwise, Carver could skate with a collusion charge. Dad, Carver is mine. You can't just shut me out. I didn't... I didn't mean that. I, um... This is, it, it really means a lot to me. Oh, I can see that. She's gonna sneak in, dude. Notice. I'm sorry, too. I mean, it's not like you killed him. <laughs> Bad timing. <laughs> I'm in. That's right, Barry Allen. You're in Grodd's mind now. Grod. Grod is sorry. Grod has changed. It's just the super intelligent gorilla who just kidnapped me. Grod wants Flash to trust him. Your powers are returned. Please, Flash, help Grod defeat the Gatekeeper. You're the gatekeeper? So you're gonna need Grog's help, huh? Grog's help. Solovar, listen. Ugh. Barry's body is reacting to whatever's happening in the mindscape. Barry's in Grog's mind. Gorilla Grog? Damn, yo, he is like my favorite supervillain ever. He's like super strong <laughs> and super smart. And Barry is super trapped in his mind. What are you hiding? Nothing. She Why don't I believe you? She, she pulled her in. Trust me. We can't use it. Why can't we use it? Because of this. Oh, Jesus. What the heck? Grodd has changed. Nothing could ever make you change. Not even the crisis of infinite worlds. What do you know about crisis? Grodd's mind wasn't affected what? by the merging of the multiverse. But Grodd can still sense changes in this reality. Changes like Gorilla City. Crisis has changed so much. I've been obsessed with trying to keep things the way they were before, but I can't. Those things don't matter. To get out of here, we just have to try something new. Work together, perhaps? We have to run forward, not backward. How? Still very imposing, even though you're now a creature of peace. Or, what is going on? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it feels impossible. You have my powers, Grodd, and my knowledge of how to use them. Now get us out of here. Run, Grodd, run. Oh, <laughs> That's gotta suck! Oh, dead! No? Okay. Should be. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. There isn't much time. The world is gonna split apart. Just run around him and get through. According to my scans, if you exit the mindscape with your brainwaves still merged, 
you will end up in one body. Oh, never mind then. You get what I said. Gross. Take that away. And what's worse is the resulting physiological conflict will cause every brain cell to shut down, and the resulting form would. We both die. Well, crap. Wait, so. Grod! There is no escape. Phase, Grod, phase. Going, Chester. Please let this work. Oh, phase, Grod. Grod stinks of fear. That's it. Get the hell up and run, Grod. Run. Yes, there we go. Oh, dang. You're kidding. That's great. When? Sisko's coming home. Shh. Don't worry, you can still stay. It's fine. Nothing wrong with two brains. Thank you, Chester. <laughs> Do you mind manning the comms? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. I think I have some more uh, bandages in the storage room. You did pull her out in to the freaking world. What is your problem? What did you do to us? They bought us time. Huh? There's no need for you to suffer. What? Easy peasy. him god dang it okay well just cannot seem to get rid of thought christ so he's he's like crawling his way out of being erased essentially again except this one's a little more on a grander scale but i mean well not a, thought wasn't technically mm, because he wasn't, I don't know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get, like, what he was before. Because originally he was a part of um, our Earth's Wells, who he killed. He just took his body. So that body didn't exist anymore. And Eobard, I think, was, is, uh, was a part of our timeline in the first place. So I guess his, his, his existence is so tricky because of the fact that he's, because he's, Basically, kind of in the negative speed force, it kind of, he can kind of hide from the effects of the time changing and everything. But this is like multiple timelines converging. But god dang, I don't know. So I don't. Man, this is really difficult. <laughs> Does I wonder if Harry even know or not Harry? I'm sorry, Nash even knows about Eobard. If he does, he needs to. I really hope he tells the others. I mean, he's hiding what's going on with him now, but this is something that could present a danger to them. Oh, that will present a danger to them all. I don't know if he knows that, though. They're, they're going to need to know about Thawne coming back. God damn it. Fudge, man. What an end credit, though. Like, that's the first time it's had any like physical contact with him. I mean... In his head, I mean, I'm pretty sure he wasn't. It wasn't. He didn't actually touch him. It was just like his mind probably turned on himself or however else it's affected. Because he's the only one that's seeing it. But so it wasn't just. It's not just uh, Harry. He saw Sherlock this episode. I'm wondering if he's like trying to make his way through the wells and like 
crawling like I, like that's him crawling his way out back into this earth like maybe using whatever last bits of existence they have somehow I don't know like whatever's kind of cl uh, linking them to Nash I guess oh god you would suck as a freaking he possesses Nash because of whatever this go is going on with him ooh that would suck I mean it'd be great because then like the best best Dawn has always been Tom Cavanaugh um but I would hate it because I mean that would suck for Nels to just be Nels Nash to basically be Dawn because of that unless they could remove Dawn from him but then that would bring the other guy Michael Schleber or something Something like that. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. Um, he just he doesn't come up as much, so he doesn't really stick that that well. Um, but okay, a lot going on this one. Freaking Iris isn't just a fake Iris. It's not a clone. She, I mean, it could be. She could have just created it, created it. Um, I thought like, but there's like an, a link to them. She she was completely aware of of the fact that uh that she had these powers she just so i was wondering like how iris was pulled in in the first place there's something that had to have happened and it was her that pulled her through God. she was she was able to clear the other iris of the wounds because i mean obviously she created this thing whatever it is and that it has her memories i guess maybe because iris is currently in the world I don't know how that would affect Iris if she stepped through. I think I think Iris would be fine. She's just she's stuck in there currently. The only way she could have gotten out is using somebody else as kind of a skin bag, essentially, in a way. Somehow that thing isn't affected because it's not her. So. I think it obviously it would just I think it would just affect the um, Eva it wouldn't affect Iris. Dang it! There's no reason for her to try it though now, because she believes that it would affect both of them like that. I like how they're really really addressing the changes in in this show. I mean they they've addressed it in the other ones as well and the other shows that uh, are left, but like this one is heavily. It heavily addresses it. This one, this episode specifically, and especially dealing with the ramifications, like just how it's affecting us directly and in a negative, well, kind of in a negative way, how we're just like not prepared. Like when the fact that Barry was trying to chase um, Hartley, and he wound up where there were train tracks, train tracks where there weren't before, and he was almost hit by a train. Luckily, he vibrated, so it just phased right there. He phased right through it. But I mean, that wasn't there before, and he that that kind of put him in danger if he if he wasn't fast enough luckily he was able to actually react in time um but hartley which which really sucks because i mean granted he was originally a bad guy but then in season two when he went back in time he changed it to where accidentally changed it to where hartley was a friend of theirs and now that's been undone which kind of sucks i felt really bad because they seemed like they'd be good uh they were good friends he seemed like a nice guy when he wasn't being a tool so but something apparently had happened to them. I want to know what happened. I hate, I hate that they did that. I hate that they, they freaking they just say, you know, um, after after what you did to me, and then just like, what did I do to you? So, and he didn't even like, I mean, there was no reason for him to state, state what happened, but he also has another ability. Freaking has basically his own siren, uh, siren, cry, siren cry, or whatever, canary cry kind of thing, except, you know, it's, it's not the same. It... It actually helps him to fly. It's kind of like Banshee. I don't know about... I don't know a whole lot about Pied Piper um, in the comics. I don't think he could do that, but, I mean, maybe in the new versions he does. Like in the... Whenever... Um, I feel like basically the DC Universe rebooted again. I think that was like Rebirth, I think. That was probably the Rebirth, Rebirth uh, series. And that really sucks, though. Like, that's one of the good things that happened whenever... Actually... Nothing really else changed, I don't think, of whenever Barry went back in time in season two. But yeah, just again, I just I'm really glad that they do address it and that they're showing them 
Bang, Barry mainly since he's the one that is isn't aware at all of the changes because everybody else was erased. So they have they have their new memories like they know so that they so that they know Crisis was a thing and that the the uh, multiverse was was a, that was a thing in the, originally. Um, but they they have their previously previously existing memories for them previously. Um, of like living throughout this new Earth or this this Earth Prime, so they know of the existence. Everything's the same. Everything's not nothing's new to them. Or this stuff isn't new to them. So they already know like like the train and uh, Hartley being a villain again. They don't. They're not aware of of some. Especially Chester, at least doesn't isn't aware of the fact that there were changes. Um, the Barry, he doesn't have those memories. Anybody who was a Paragon that survived being wiped out. You know they have no recollection of what happened before, of of these new, of this new timeline. So, yeah, it would it would make sense. Barry's gonna have to be battling with that. Um, but it seems like he's he was you know he was trying to hold on to some semblance of what was what it was like before. You know he was having issues um, reconciling with the fact that. So much has changed. In fact, what is it? 3.72 trillion things have changed. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks to Grog. Who, Grod. I keep saying Grog. Grod is now going to be good. You know, he's he's obviously changed. At least hopefully. Um, he helped Barry to realize that he has to kind of he has to let go of what past was. Let go of the past, and, like as a whole, you know, in terms of uh, what things, how things used to be uh, before the crisis. He's got to move forward, which was really cool seeing them merge, like like ha seeing ha what happened after they emerged. Freaking Grog had flash symbol blazing on his chest, seeing Grog Grod <laughs> move so fast and being able to phase and just using all Flash's abilities was really cool. And the arc in his eyes, that was just really cool. <laughs> um, and always good to see Solovar again, even though he's, you know, CG. But I really love uh, Keith David. He's great. He's always, I mean, he's always... Uh, uh, recognizable voice doesn't really have a wide variety, but it's always he's just got such a cool voice, so I, I really enjoy it every time he's in something. It was interesting because of this new earth and the fact that because of what happened before when they um, kind of z sort of zapped him of his intelligence. He had been taking a year to get it back, but when because he didn't have the heightened intelligence, he says he wasn't able to lie to himself basically, cover it up with just false. Uh, like justifications as to why he was doing what he was doing. He understood what he did was wasn't right, and he was taking responsibility and, and was wanting to apologize and, and wanted to be better and wanted to be peaceful and live with uh, his kind. So it was, it was whenever he was using um, Caitlin and, and uh, the original Harrison, uh, showing kind of like what it was, how it was beforehand. Like when I saw it, I was like, that's. That's um, Eobard Wells, essentially, is it? it? Like at first, at first I was thinking Harry, but then I was like, no, there's something like the way he. Well, also the outfit, like he, the uh, Harry isn't. He kind of wore similar clothing, but there was a difference, and also just the way he, he holds himself. It's crazy what what uh, Kavanaugh can do. It's like there is the wilder things, like when he was he was Sherlock, whenever he was uh, HR, not as wild, but still big difference in just the way he was acting. But in the things like a little more subtle, even though Harry and and uh and uh Eobard, before he was outed as a Eobard, um, were are still they still act very differently. There's those subtle differences in, in terms of the way they carry themselves carry themselves, excuse me. Um just Eobard has this more kind of arrogant or uh Self, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Prideful, like posture than Harry. I mean, Harry was pretty prideful before he kind of lost most of his intelligence, but it was more, you know, you know what I'm talking. I don't know. I'm going a little too into it, but it's just the way they held themselves, like the way Tom does it, is just ridiculous. And I love it. I love. I just love the way he played Eobard Wells. It was great. Um, but you could definitely see it was like that's, and also the glasses are slightly different too. But like the first thing was just like that. Something's feels like this is Eobard. Um, but Danielle, you can definitely see that she's starting to show more. Like, they do a pretty good job of hiding it, but, I mean, there's 
that the shirt's kind of sort of protruding a little bit. It's not showing a lot, a lot, but enough that it's showing. Let's see what's, uh, what they're still filming. I don't know how far along she is. I don't quite know. Hopefully she doesn't have to leave um, uh, before the end of the season. But they're still using a pretty decent amount of her, um, considering. Because um, they were able to get them out before you know the whole thing was collapsed onto them. Uh, they're, he's, they were able to release him, and they're sending him to, or they sent him to Gorilla City. Um, they've had well, Lila has had them inject. I forgot what they to his cerebellum, I think they, she said, um, to keep track of him, make sure he basically he's on probation, make sure he's, you know, basically follows through with what he wants, what he wanted just to be peaceful. If he doesn't get feel that line, they'll do something about it, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine. Like, he's not going to be, excuse me, he's not going to try anything. I'm hoping anyway. Um, and it'd be cool that if God maybe helps us um, from here on out, like whatever we need, when uh, something maybe somehow, some reason God will help us out, that'd be really cool. Um, I'm not aware of Grodd in the comics be being good, but I mean, you, know, you can do what you want. Uh, different iterations, because of the fact that the multiverse exists, so I mean, you can do what, basically, how, make any kind of change you want, and it can be canon. So, so they mentioned Frost was basically checking in on on uh, blood work, Ramses. So there's they, they mean they mentioned him. I don't know if that like I'm pretty sure he's still probably gonna come in later on. Like I said, they might do what they did with Shield before, where they have different arcs within this one season and then at the end of it it'll basically they'll converge into one thing like they'll the the elements from the, the arcs within the season will come converge into a finale so maybe something like that will happen maybe blood will come in i guess i'm assuming the the black hole people will take him from our from argus somehow so because he's gonna have the fingers and everything so who knows um Another thing that was changed though was the fact that you know I was wondering what Barry was looking for. Like I wasn't sure. I mean, I figured it had something to do with his parents, but I didn't know like what I I did think about it. I know I should have probably put it together, but he was looking for his parents' graves. But because of the changes, it had moved. You know that he had no idea uh, where they'd been, uh, where they'd been moved to. But luckily, Chester was able to. He uh, wound up hacking um, all this, the cemetery database and was able to track them down. So that was really nice of him. And that kind of well, Barry was already. Um, giving him a chance, so he was uh, he was already letting him in, but that definitely um, meant something to Barry. So I think I think it'd be really cool to have both Chester and Cisco interact. I mean, Chester's just so hyper and hyperactive, um, and I kind of like he's he's uh, he's got a, he's kind of a, a quirky charm to him, um, and I feel like they, there might be ch uh, times where uh, Chester will get on Cisco's nerves but I mean also and they might just wind up being really good friends I think they'll get along really well too uh it could be a bit of both or it'll you know start getting on nerves and work way up I don't know um Cisco's not as you know uh jazzy or jittery but I mean um he can be at times whenever it uh, comes to nerding out so now I get okay I know they were trying to get uh Chester in the team and everything but um which it worked out in the end, you know. It's, it's good that he was able to that he knew, but it's still, Camilla shouldn't have should have at least talked with Barry about it instead of just bringing him to you know to show him that Barry's the Flash. I really didn't. It was not really Camilla's place. I mean, you could be part of the team or, or uh, honorable part of the team and not know his identity quite yet. They should. She still should. They all should have at least talked about it. But it it worked out. At least he's not. I mean, I don't. I know obviously Chester's a huge fanboy of, of the Flash, so I mean not, he's not going to rat him out or anything. Well, at least not intentionally. Hopefully he doesn't accidentally let it slip in his excitement about working with the Flash. But yeah, she's she's still sort of check with Barry. Now also Allegra note found out that um, Nash had some kind of uh, connection with his one of her one of her doppelgangers, um, who apparently is not his daughter, but he was close with her, some kind of what he said, an associate, I think. But she made bad decisions, so something happened to her. So maybe something similar to what Allegra had dealt with beforehand, but it didn't end well, maybe, or she, or she could have just been whacked whenever the, the, you uh, Well, no, he definitely seemed, um, kind of somber whenever, like the first episode they met at the end, whenever he was like looking at her, with some kind of, uh, a somber tone. So I don't, I don't really know exactly, but still, yeah. 
um, something, I guess maybe what she, maybe bad choices she made might have caused her death or something, or, I don't know, but she knows now, and he was going to tell her, but then his mind, whatever's going on there, stopped him, so, I don't know, I don't know if he, that, like, he will change his mind about telling her to deal with this first or something, I don't know, I mean, yeah, nobody else knows about what's going on with him, I feel like he needs to tell some. he needs to tell everybody. Oh yeah, and Joe. Oh, God damn, piss me off. Iris or this mirror clone. Cause I remember Mirror Master was able to like make like things of him, like projections of himself, and sometimes like solid projections. So that not thinking about it, that makes sense as like what he did. But even though I don't know if he could alter them to look like somebody else, but he, then again, Iris is in there, so maybe she just did it like that. But anyway, she this Iris projection. Um stole the information she needed from uh from Joe's database. I, I was really hoping that Joe maybe he will. But I was really hoping he would be able to catch on as like something's definitely different about Iris. Especially right there whenever she kinda got aggressive um and, and shattered at him about the keeping her out of the loop, keeping her from the information she wanted. Um I don't know, I feel like maybe he left something on the computer to, to maybe see. I feel like it shouldn't be that easy for her to access it. So maybe he left it that way to check up on her, see what's up with her, maybe. I hope so. I mean, with, with the talk that he had with Barry about something being seen being different, and then this happening, really hoping Joe, the, Joe will be able to pick up on it and, talk, and then he can talk with Barry about it and saying that he was right, that maybe something's not right about, about Iris. Feel like I'm honestly surprised that it's going on. Freaking Barry didn't stay in like in the in the uh, the Speed Force, or they didn't have uh, Flashpoint this long. I know people really were upset about that. I kind of wasn't really. I didn't. It didn't bother me because I just wanted him to be back. Because to be fair, he had lived. I mean, it had been six months for them. Whoever knows how long for him. Whenever he was in Flash, um, um, the Speed Force, and then the Flashpoint. Uh, I guess another six months he'd been living, or however long, in there. So time passed for him, and time taken passed for us because we had to, it was between seasons that crap happened. So he still had to wait. I don't. Wanna, I didn't want to wait longer for him to come back, but whatever. But yeah, this has spread out, uh, gone longer than I expected it to be. I wonder if it's gonna last, like to the like almost the end of the season. I mean, we're on 13 right now. I think they're going only to 22 again. Um, maybe next episode, or maybe two, two or two. Uh, two or three more episodes, maybe. How long is it? like she's gonna stay in there? Maybe watch her come back next episode. <laughs> I love that, that Grod or that Chester said that Grod is basically his favorite villain. I know that might win Eric over on Chester because I know he's been kind of hesitant on him. So I, I have too. I mean, I like his. He's been very like uh, I don't know. I've kind of liked him because of he's he's just kind of goofy and has kind of like a redeeming quality to him. But yeah, I definitely can see the hesitance in that. But I feel like that might win Eric over because of his bias towards Grodd. Um, but, uh, this is just seems very intelligent. I mean, I knew he was intelligent. We, we knew he was intelligent because he basically made a black hole generator um, in the first episode. But, like, we, was, we got kind of a little more tidbits into how intelligent he is. Apparently, he boosted the something of Gideon about, like, 900 times per cent or what? 900 times or something, the power it was before. Um,. And apparently created a tried to create a hovercraft at eleven, <laughs> which didn't work out. Um, but still, considering that he was able, that he's under, has some understanding of it to be able to do that at the age of eleven, and then tried to make uh, or he made the Millennium Falcon, and it actually worked like flew like a drone, um, even though it kind of faltered the day he needed it. Um, he has like I don't know. If, ah, I'm wondering if he's. It seems like maybe he's smarter than Cisco, which I don't know. How I feel about it just because I mean I have obviously a bias to Cisco. Um, maybe they're the same, but I don't know. Um, because we don't know how young Cisco was whenever he did anything with like technology. So I mean he's 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 been he's shown to be pretty intelligent already. I mean he made the freaking um oh crap I forgot the call the the things that they use for um uh rifts portals what are they called 
breach. Jesus, can remember they're called uh, to make a breach, but uh, even though they don't really work anymore, but still the fact that he was able to make that beforehand, even though it was kind of based on his powers in the first place, but whatever. Um, and Cisco, speaking of which, he's hopefully coming back next episode. But you know, Camilla said that he's gonna be coming back now. So that's great. I've already, I haven't technically been gone too long. It was like one episode after Crisis, I believe. And then he was it that was the same episode. Yeah, it was the, you know the episode after Crisis. I mean, it was a few weeks though um, before Flash came back. But um, he left, I believe, that very first episode um, at the end of it. So it's been episode ten, I think. Is when the they came back or was it nine? I can't remember. Yeah, it was it was ten. Okay, my bad. So it hasn't been too long. It's been like two episodes, two three episodes, but still, miss miss, miss, miss Jesus have been. He's been missed. <laughs> Gron's mind apparently was not affected by the Earth's uh, col um, collapsing. I don't know if that's the right term, but merging. Um, somehow his mind wasn't affected by the crisis, so he knows everything that happened. That you know how the universe was beforehand, but he's also aware of all the changes. I don't know about all the changes, but he's aware of the changes that has happened since since uh since crisis. That's interesting. I mean, maybe it's because of the thing. The extrapolators. That's what those things are called. The things for the for <laughs> for the breaches. Sorry. Um, the what is it now? I can't remember what that is. The what? Whatever the crap that, that that's on his head right now. Maybe that protected. I, he probably said it, but I don't remember. Um, but his mind was affected by it, so he sees a note. He was aware of it, and he knows you know the fact that uh, uh, Gorilla City's now on this Earth, or now it's all a one Earth, whatever. It's not on a different Earth now. Um, so again, I mean, another person who knows, like who remembers, remembers about how things used to be. Um, I mean, all the others known because of Jean, but like that's almost like secondhand knowledge in a way. This is actually Grodd's memories that he would kept him, himself, kind of like Barry. So, but he's except Barry's not aware of this. So it's kind of he's got both in in different ways than the others do. So again, maybe Grodd can help them. You know, maybe somehow. Uh, being aware of both, he'll be able to help him out, and he'll have somebody to kind of talk to if 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 he needs to. Along with, I mean, it has. There's also I was gonna say Melissa, uh, Kara, and and them. I mean, Car Kara's they're they're pretty close, so I mean, if you need someone to talk to, they can go to her as well. I think that's it. Um, I thought this was a great episode, man. <laughs> um, I, can't, I still can't believe that. Well, I mean, I can because it's freaking fun, but it just it's crazy. Like what lengths he can go to to just stay alive uh, i'm not really sure where he is right now um because again i don't i don't know how how the earth's merging affected him he probably ran into the, the negative the negative speed force to escape that crap but still i'm just wondering where he was during the crisis but whatever we got apparently we got uh, eve eva you know tricking iris keeping her in in the mirror world not sure how she's gonna be getting out? How she's gonna find out? Like what? How that? What that? What that will lead to? Because she's kind of at a disadvantage considering they're in the mirror world and this. I don't know what all kind of control that Eva has. I mean, not enough to be able to escape, but it's gonna be dangerous. But for now, guys, that is it for this week's episode of The Flash. Hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna stick around for next week's episode? Be sure to hit the subscribe button and, you'll be, and the bell if you wanna be notified whenever the icon, the icon, <laughs> the episode comes up. Um, and if you want to support us, go and check out our Patreon where you get access to all the catch -up series, early accident catch up series that we have. Uh, link for that will be in the description down below as well. Again, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next week.